Remember boat shoes? Okay, we talked about it last week, so hopefully you watched that video and you do remember them. But what I'm actually talking about is about six to eight years ago when boat shoes were all over college campus and every guy was wearing them, like it was if you were in the in crowd if you had a pair, right? I think what Ugg boots were to college girls, boat shoes were for guys, am I right? Well, I'm here to tell you that boat shoes are still cool and you don't even have to drive, is it drive? You don't even have to drive a boat to be able to wear them. So after we talked about them last week, I figured I'd challenge myself and give you five ways, plus maybe a little bonus if you stay tuned, on how to style them, modernize them, and make them appropriate for your wardrobe today. Let's do this. All right, so be honest, what image came to your mind when I said boat shoes? Was it country club style? Was it sort of a fraternity guy on campus? If it was any of those and I have to convince you, let me blow your mind or, you, you know, at least try to. I'm gonna be using the pair that I shared in the last summer shoes video and styling them five different ways so you can see how versatile they really are. Before we dive in, if you are looking for a good boat shoe, I always recommend the classic Sperry Brown version. Now they're not sponsoring this, but I find them to be the most versatile and have a better profile for all the different outfits that we're trying to put together. The ones I'm wearing today are more of a beige neutral color with some texture, but they're gonna serve that purpose of showing the versatility in how we style them five different ways. So for option one, we're going for one of the more simpler ways to do it, and that's just to do a summer top and some shorts. Now, if you need some summer top and short suggestions, check out my last couple of videos because we go through it all there. I'm subbing in the boat shoes for sneakers or flip flops because like I said before, I'm not really a foot guy, so I'm not gonna wear sandals, and these are a little bit more breathable than an actual pair of sneakers. You can wear them with socks or without. Just beware, if you've got a leather pair that you're wearing without socks, they're gonna get a little stinky. So you're gonna either need to take care of them or at least let them air out somewhere that there's a lot of space and not in a claustrophobic shoe closet. Option number two is to pair them with some denim. I, for some reason, have a soft spot for a nice pair of jeans with Sperry's and maybe a collared shirt or polo, just because of how clean that looks. The key points here are to one, cuff your denim if it's a little long. That style is a little bit more summery to me and it looks great if you're exposing your ankles and trying to show off the shoe. Now if it's something that you haven't done before, summer's the time to try it. Now the way to really modernize this look is to add a pair of denim with a slimmer silhouette so you get a clean line or a structured bomber jacket on a cooler night. It's all about how you style those other pieces. For option number three, let's dress it up a little bit with a pair of chinos. Now the great thing about choosing a neutral pair of boat shoes is that you can explore a lot of different colors of chinos and let the boat shoes be the anchor to that outfit. Get it? Anchor? Boat anchor? Oh brother, this guy stinks! Come on, work with me here. We're still gonna cuff the chinos to get that summery look, but the way you do it here is gonna depend on what kind of boat shoe you have. If you have a wider one like I do, you don't wanna pin roll that pant because it's gonna look a little wonky when your leg tapers into something that's pretty wide. So here, I just cuff them about two or three times to get the desired length and show off as much ankle as I want. For option number four, we're gonna dress it up even a little bit more. You can throw a blazer on that collared shirt that you were wearing in option number three. My caveat here is that these are not a formal dress shoe. My biggest pet peeve is seeing them at weddings. Unless the wedding is at a beach or explicitly casual, these should not substitute your dress shoe or loafer. Option number five, let's step it way back into the ultimate casual. Now, being that I'm a guy who hates feet and will not wear sandals. Have I said that before? Have we made that clear? I just wanna make sure we're clear. I use these as my go-to beach shoe in the summer. Throw them on with board shorts or trunks and a tank and you're pretty much ready to go. Plus, if you're heading out to a restaurant or somewhere after a day out at the beach, when we can, I feel like I have to do this every time, then your feet will actually be covered and you'll look a lot more presentable. You can throw a short sleeve button up over that tank and be ready to go. All right, I'm giving you a bonus option, option number six, and it's the outfit I've been wearing throughout this video. Now the question is, can we really modernize boat shoes? And I think showing you here, I feel like we can. 
It's all about taking a piece, doesn't matter if it's boat shoes or something else, and styling it with pieces that you already love that reflect your personal style. So I went for some camel pants, which is a little bit street casual, and a nice soft pink polo, which is a little bit of dapper casual, and mix that all together. And honestly, I think this is an outfit that I'm probably gonna go shoot some photos of later. So that's how we make boat shoes work for today and modernize them for the summer season. If you've got a pair that you need to dust off, it's time to do it and get to wearing them. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button so we can stay connected. And I know that you're enjoying these videos. I'm Threadability on all other platforms, so make sure to follow me on there and let's stay connected. Till next time.